how to set up Google login for Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy method on how you can add a, a solution for the uh, sign up of the clients into your Shopify store, which is going to be like that. So let's say that you are going to be a customer on your Shopify or on this Shopify store and we want to create an account. So as you can see, the standard Shopify so interface is going to show you only sign in only for that specific case, let's say here with only um, Gmail or not Gmail, but the standard email. We want to add the options like the SSO options like Microsoft, Facebook, and also uh, let's say here Google. And the most important one is Google. How we can do that? It is going to be a matter of an app. So for the coding, we do not have the necessarily things to do that because it is going to uh, take a little bit of time. We need a, a software developer, also code, let's say a resourcer and etc. But here I have the solution which is going to be integrated with this app, which is going to be named Mini Orange Single Sign-In SSO. So you're going to, as you can see, secure the customer account, logins, and restrict access to product pages to your store based on the user in IDP and etc. So we have the OAuth, OpenID, GWT protocols, and etc. So it is going to have the protocols uh, like Google, Cognito, uh, Autho, and etc. So you're going to have the SSO set up like that. So B2B login via username and password instead of email RDP for customer account. As you can see, this is it. Uh, and also you can have the uh, login for the mobile version. Also the uh, single sign up as you can see like that or layout. So this app is not going to be free. It has a very high rating of five stars until you are going to find that it has been um, rated by 44 people. They have a plan of $99 per month and also a free trial. If you like it, you can go ahead and install it. If not, you're going to deinstall it. It is going to be that simple. And here you go. So once we have did that, we are going to install the app and it is going to get the access to the data of our store. So as you can see, this is it. We are going to pin it to our navigation because this is something that we do not need to play around with and we are going to approve the free trial. As you can see, it is going to charge 99 per month. It is expensive, but it is going to set up here, uh, I don't know, something not that um, easy to do manually. So you're going to choose one of the protocols, for example, OAuth, for example, or user store. You can go ahead and use, for example, I don't know, your Facebook or Google. You can have the IDP name and etc. So this is the callback. You can go ahead and set up this identity and you can go ahead and put uh, the um, setup like that. So this is going to be the name of it. You're going to save it and then you're going to name it like Google, for example. And then you're going to have it just like that. You can put your client ID, the secret client ID. Uh, these are going to be the identification from your Google, uh, let's say a security or developer account. You're going to have it write that for the client secret and also the client ID. Go ahead and configure it and then you're going to put it just like that. You can have also the global configuration, for example, to things like that, like the HCAPTCHA or the admin um, for the admins SSO, as you can see, configuration. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.